In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, today is Saturday, in the 27th week of the ordinary time. Our first reading is taken from Galatians chapters 3, verse 22 to 29, and our gospel reading is taken from Luke's gospel, chapter 11, verse 27 to 28. I often hear people say that blood is thicker than water. However, today's reading reveals that this is not the case. There is a particular type of water that is actually thicker than blood. This is the water of baptism. It is a water that binds Christians together. The water that removes barriers imposed by culture, language, and tribal affiliation. According to St. Paul in today's first reading, for all of you who were baptized into Christ, have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free person. There is neither male or female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. As we see recorded in Galatians chapter 3 verse 28. When a woman admired Jesus, she exclaimed, Blessed is a womb that carried you and the breast at which you nursed. Indeed, in her song of thanksgiving for God's choice of her, Mary the mother of Jesus herself said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has regarded the low estate of his handmaid. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. As we see recorded in Luke's Gospel chapter 1 verse 48. In response to this woman's admiration of Mary, Jesus simply said, Rather, be blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. As we see today in Luke's Gospel chapter 11 verse 27, As Mary considered it to be blessed to have carried Jesus in her womb, so are we blessed and privileged to hear God's word and pattern our lives in obedience to it. Dear friends, Obeying God's words should never be seen as a burden or a cross. It is actually a privilege. We are not doing God a favor by keeping his commandments. We are even lucky that God has revealed to us in his own word how we ought to live and find happiness in life. More still, as St. Paul points out in today's first reading, we do not keep the law to win God's friendship or favor. Rather, we keep the law because we know that we are God's friends already and that Christ won that friendship for us on the cross. Dear friends in Christ, our hymns of praise must be translated into acts of love for God and neighbor. That is why in response to the acclamation of praise, Jesus sobered down the emotions to focus on doing the will of God. As we offer this Mass in honor of Our Lady, let us remember that she heard the word of God, pondered it, and did the will of God in her life. May we who honor her also learn from her and do God's will in our lives. Lord Jesus, help us to find happiness daily by putting your words into practice. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. I'll give you everything. I'll give you everything. Lift it up.